Hi there, Kano Daily. Um, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos recently, I'm getting ready to go back to the Philippines. And uh, once again, I was trying to clear up space on my hard drive to make room for pictures and video and so forth. Um, I moved a bunch of stuff, you know, a lot of my videos I've done for YouTube and so forth over to an external hard drive. But I still didn't really have much space left on my, my C partition. Um, the computer I have, I bought it used and I discovered you know, that there was a D partition on there and the person before me had, um, they had like Call of Duty or something on there that took up like 34 gigabytes, I think. So using Windows 10 and their um, disk management, I was able, you know, on, in the control panel under the disk management, I was able to delete that out of that drive. But when I tried to do anything to expand the volume or extend the volume of my C partition, it wouldn't let me do it. There was the C partition, and then I had a little like 450 megabyte partition in between that and the D, and um, it wouldn't let me merge those. So I went online to a forum, and it mentioned a program called Acronis Disk Director 11. And um, I looked it up and found out there's now a version 12 available and I ended up buying that and it made it really simple for me to um, to fix that situation and get everything where I wanted it so I just thought I would show you that briefly um, just in case anybody else is having that problem with their um, you know merging partitions in their um, Windows 10 computer this program makes it really easy I um, probably should have um, tried to take a video or done something like that before I started the process but I hadn't actually planned on making a video about it I just thought later maybe someone might find it useful because um, once I downloaded it it made it really really simple and quick for me to do it so here's um, you can see this MSI thing pops up from whoever had the computer before that never registered it I guess it never lets me register so um, got the Acronis Disk Director here, and you'll get this screen that pops up. Do you want to let it make changes to your PC? So yes. And then this comes up. And you can see at the bottom of the screen you've got a graphical representation here of the different partitions. And um, you can see now that this one here is 681.8 gigabytes. Um, before I had that, which was only about say 432, and then there was the little 450 megabyte partition, and then the D partition. Um, when I first installed this, I had already, you know, deleted that that volume and minimized, you know, or removed the volume in Windows in their disk management. So it was showing up as just an unassigned volume here. Or, you know, um, wasn't really available to do anything with. So first I had to create a volume with that space, which then showed up as unassigned up here in the list. If you look down here, if I right click on this, you get your list of options that pops up. And um, you can resize, remove, or copy. I, I wanted to merge. But first I had to, um, if you hit that, you'll see your menu pops up with your different options, what you have here. And um, that other 249.1 gigabytes that I had in D wasn't really showing up until I um, assigned it as a volume, a certain type of volume as a basic. And then, once you do that, you can just um, click on here, and it will show you up at the top. It had, um, you could assign like all the, um, all unallocated volumes to where you wanted to go. I don't know if it was in this menu or if you do the the resize. Yeah, if you do the resize, you know, you can see where it gives you the option to append all the unallocated disk space to the volume. And it made it really simple to do that. I was able to just um, merge all that and it had to restart the computer and it'll ask you for permission for the different actions that you have to, um, to implement them, 
and tell you exactly what actions are going to take place where it had to um, you know, rename that one partition and then merge the volumes and everything. And it was a very simple, very quick process. It was well worth the money that I spent to, to get this program. But if you're having problems with your Windows 10 computer and you're trying to find a way to, um, to handle that and get things taken care of, I would recommend that program. Uh, I don't, I'm sure there are other programs out there available. It just, um, when I first did this, I downloaded the trial version and you can go to their website and download the trial version and um, that gave me a chance to look it over and see exactly how it would work and what the interface was like before I decided to go ahead and spend the money to actually purchase it and get the code, you know, the, um, the registration key to put in there and activate it. You can work with um, partitions up to like 100 megabytes, I think, in the, the demo version, but it um, gives you just a good chance to, to take a look at it. There's, you don't have anything to lose by you know, going and downloading that demo version, and you can get in there and play around with it, and it has um, lots of information in the help section of that demo version to help you understand exactly what, you know, what you're doing and what you can do with it and how it works so you understand the process. But it was um, very, very easy to do. And I'm happy I did it because now I've got like 350 gigabytes of space right there on my C drive that I can use. Um, you know, when I go on vacation and keep all my files and um, my pictures and videos and stuff right there where I want them. So check that out if you're having that problem with Windows 10.